What's up guys, it's Roll Duke Apple here and today I'm here to show you guys how to cut your micro SIM card into a nano SIM card. So as you guys know, I've got the iPhone 5 here and that does use a nano SIM card which is 40% smaller than the micro SIM card. So please do this at your own risk. Technically they say you aren't supposed to be cutting your micro SIM card as it is a little bit thinner. The nano SIM card is a little bit thinner than the micro SIM. However, it is still possible and for some people it actually did work. So if you want to save 10 bucks or in my situation where the carrier is isn't selling me any nano SIM cards because I didn't buy the iPhone from them, um, then you can go ahead and use this alternative. So what you'll need, I'll give you guys the following materials, which is a knife, a pen, a ruler, and I'm going to leave a link below to where to download this. This is from iPhone Zen, and this is pretty much just a template on where exactly you would cut your SIM card. So this will work for all people whose um, SIM cards have the connectors that match up. As you can see, I've got the micro SIM card here. The corner's already kind of cut off from the Jevy SIM um, that I had a while back. However, it will still be fine. Let's go ahead and just set it down here and line it up as carefully as you can with the connector and the lines. And there you go. Go ahead and grab some tape. All I could find is some hockey tape. Yes, I am Canadian. <laughs> Um, so I think any type of hockey tape, just don't use scotch tape as I think that would probably break pretty easy. Even hockey tape probably isn't the best option. I think the stick tape would be the best. So go ahead and hold it down and try to tape it the best you can. Two pieces holding the corner should be enough. And as you can see, that shows the nano sim. And this pretty much gives you some dimensions on where to cut it and how it fits in. So let's just go ahead and ensure that everything is lined up. I'm going to go ahead and grab my ruler here. So let's just line it up. Grab my pen here. So let's just go ahead and put the ruler down and make a marking. There you go. I think I've got it pretty close. You do not want to cut the connectors, otherwise your SIM card would be broken. And you're going to have to go ahead and buy a new one. So there are just the markings. Let's go ahead and just finish up and draw all the markings. Move on to the next one. The thing with the nano sim is all you can really see is a connector and everything else is actually very very close so it would be a very tight cut and it can be a little bit challenging. There you go so let's go ahead and lay down the ruler and go ahead and start cutting this. I've got my knife right here. Okay so this is the hard part here just make sure you do not cut any connectors. Okay, so there you have it. Hopefully the cuts were good. Let's go ahead and tear this off. And we might need some scissors to just fix up the cut here. And even if you made the incision, at least you have the markings and you can go ahead and just finish it up with the scissors. There you can go. As you can see, it's like a pretty clean cut there. There. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a pretty good cut there. One side does need to clean up. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. So one of the problems that people were saying um, when we were planning on... So one of the problems people were worried about when cutting their micro sim was the fact that the nano sim is a little bit thinner. Apparently about 15% thinner. So let's go ahead and um, get a piece of sandpaper any sort of sandpaper and you just need to do very very light sanding on the back side um, really not much is required as if you could see how thin it is 15% really isn't that much
There, so you can always make some adjustments, but there we've got it. The cut is pretty good, so let's go ahead and see if it works. So now that our SIM card's ready, let's go ahead and take out the SIM slot. As you can see, I already have. So here we've got our DIY Nano SIM. Let's go ahead and see if it fits. There you have it. So let's go ahead and slide in the iPhone and see if it activates. So, as you can see, my phone did activate. I've got TELUS right there. Let's go ahead and carry on with the activation. So there, I'm going to go ahead and start it up as a new phone. Let's go ahead and skip this step here. So, now that I've signed in, let's go ahead and just agree with the terms and conditions. So there we have it. We've got the iPhone 5 activated. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if this video helped you. And I will be doing some more comparisons between the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5 as well as some more tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button below. If you would like to be notified of future content, please subscribe.